Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Ishin VTX-03S Mini 5.8GHz video transmitter. In this video I'm going to go over its features, show you how to set it up on Betaflight and then measure its output strength. The VTX-03S is the new version of the VTX-03 from Ishin which was and maybe still is a very popular product due to its price and also its very small dimensions. So what has been changed? First of all, the S version now supports only 40 channels, whereas the 03 version supports 72 channels. Next, they added another output strength option, so now you can set it to 100 mV, whereas it wasn't present on the 03. However, the maximum output strength is still 200 mV, just like the VTX03. The last difference, which is the most important one, is the S, which stands for Smart Audio. So now you'll be able to configure the VTX through Betaflight OSD, which is a much more convenient way of configuring VTX than using a button. The S version has the same dimensions of the VTX03 version. It weighs 3.3 grams, so it's a little bit heavier than the VTX03, which weighs only 3 grams. Now let's check the wiring. First of all, on the left side, we got the VCC and the ground. The walking voltage is between 3.3 to 5 volts. Then we've got the smart audio wire. It uses the TBS smart audio protocol. Then the plus 5 volts out, the ground, and finally the video in. You can see also that on the S version they added this black rubber protector for the connectors which is a pretty nice add-on. Now I've got the VTX-03S connected to a flight controller. Just remember that the walking voltage of this VTX is between 3.3 to 5 volts and you will have to connect the smart audio to a free UART TX port. So I connected it to the TX3 port of this flight controller. The next thing you need to do is to head over to Betaflight. And make sure that next to the UART that you used, you chose the TBS Smart Audio under Peripherals. Then save and reboot. Then you'll be able to enter Betaflight OSD by putting the throttle on the center, the yaw to the left and the pitch to the top. And now go to Features, VTX Smart Audio. And now you'll be able to set up the VTX using this menu. I'm going to set it to F7. And after hitting Set, you can see that now the frequency has been changed. In the same way we can set up the output strength, so now it's set to 25 millivolts, and I'm getting around 34 millivolts. Now it's set to 50 millivolts, and I'm getting around 63 millivolts. Now it's set to 100 millivolts, and I'm getting around 270 millivolts. And finally when it's set to 200 millivolts, I'm getting 350 millivolts, so this is actually pretty impressive and I didn't think the output strength of this VTX is going to be that high. In terms of pricing, this VTX goes for only $11, so this is a very budget-friendly VTX. In addition, it is very small, so we'll be able to fit it inside tight builds. And now that it features smart audio, it's going to be much more convenient to configure this VTX. My only complaint is that it supports only 5 volts, and I really wish that on the next version it's going to support higher voltage. In the next few days I'm going to post a build video where I'm going to use this VTX and then you'll be able to see how it performs outdoors. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about this VTX, feel free to ask it in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you liked this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.